Welcome to Electron Online. Now let's take a look at the second partial derivative of a function. Just like with regular derivatives, we take the first derivative and then we take the derivative of the derivative, which is then the second derivative. But in this case, we'll take partial derivatives. Let's first take it with respect to x. So we're going to take the partial derivative of the function with respect to x. And that's going to be equal to, here that's a variable, so we have 2x. This becomes a constant, that is 0. The derivative of minus 4x is minus 4. The derivative of 6y would be 0. And the derivative of 4 is 0 because this is a constant and this is a constant. When we take the partial derivative with respect to x, everything else becomes a constant. Now we're going to take the, the, the partial derivative of this again. That's called the second partial derivative. So the second partial derivative of the function with respect to x is written like this, just like with regular derivatives, except we have these skewed d's instead of the regular d's. And now we take the derivative of this, the derivative of 2x with respect to x is simply 2, and the derivative of a constant is equal to 0. So this is the second partial derivative of the function with respect to x. Now let's do it again, but now with respect to y. The partial derivative of the function with respect to y is equal to, this becomes 0 because the partial of a constant is 0. Here we get 3y squared. The derivative of this is a constant, the derivative of this is plus 6, and the derivative of that is a constant. Now we can take the second derivative of that function with respect to x, and it would be the second partial derivative, which is written like this, with respect to y. And so the derivative of this would be 6 times y to the first power. The derivative of this is a constant. This then becomes the second derivative, or the second partial derivative, of the function with respect to y. So just like before, you just keep taking the derivative. If you want to take the derivative again, now you take the third der derivative, the fourth derivative, and so forth, and you just keep going. Again, the rules are exactly the same as before with partial derivatives. Everything that is not the variable that you're taking the derivative with respect to is simply a constant, and those become zeros if that's the only thing in that term. And that's how that's done.